that's kind of a trend to carry your bag like this but it will carry it more like this also notice a few plant pot shaped bags i think for vintage lovers honestly um this is your time to bring out your collection hey guys welcome to my channel i'm jess thanks so much guys for subscribing to my channel recently oh my gosh i'm so close to 10,000 subscribers all your help has been really motivating me to like make videos as much as i can and I just want to say thank you so so much for subscribing to my channel uh, today i wanted to talk about the hottest trends that i've noticed on the latest runway fashion shows so if you like shopping in handbags guys make sure you subscribe to my channel because i could talk about handbags for days i noticed a lot of similarities between uh, many runway shows that i've watched lately uh, from Miu Miu, fendi Hermes, Dior, Louis Vuitton, uh, Ferragamo. I was noticing a lot of similarities with the types of bags that I'd seen on the runway and also some interesting details as to how to carry your bag. So something very interesting to note was um, it's not only about the handbag but the way you carry it. I thought it was very interesting in the Alexander McQueen show that they had this very classic minimalistic looking bag it was like some like top handle shape with a zip, but they were holding it upside down in the fashion show, which I thought was kind of interesting. So I'm noticing a lot of these very minimalistic classic bags being worn in a bit of a new eye-catching way. And I thought in this uh, particular Alexander McQueen show, it kind of showcased that trend where it's like something very classic um understated but then worn in a funky way somehow the thing i noticed was a lot of models carrying handbags like like this so they're like strutting down the runway and they're carrying it instead of carrying say a birkin like this i mean they didn't have birkins but like similar bags they're all carrying it like this and they're almost letting like the handle slouch like that that's kind of a trend to carry your bag like this as opposed to like this and I've even seen uh, like bags, people carrying it more like this, like scrunching it like that. And I've also noticed a lot of um, like big slouchy bags where the model will carry it more like this and they'll walk down the runway like that. So it's all about the attitude of the bag and how you wear it. It's kind of like a very relaxed, non-traditional way of carrying a bag to sit is I think it's kind of in fashion, that attitude. I also noticed that the double bag trend is still in fashion, but it's more like you're carrying like a big tote bag. So I think this is a bit too extra, but it needs to be like a minimalistic tote bag. And then you're also carrying like another handbag over it like this. I noticed that trend on the Bottega runway show and I think another runway show I saw it as well, but a few fashion shows I've noticed them carrying multiple bags at once. Uh, and it tends to be like a minimal tote with like a smaller bag with it. So I thought that was kind of fascinating as well. Also notice a few plant pot shaped bags uh, back in fashion. So on the Hermes runway, there's this new bag. I'm not sure what it is called. I'm not sure if it's actually refer It could be referencing a vintage bag they already had, but like probably is. I noticed on the Hermes runway, this really like box calf smooth plant pot shaped bag and also on the Bottega runway there was a very similar shape as well and these bags not only are they this shape but they tend to be in a really luxe leather with minimal branding so um, in this case they used like a shiny box calf like a very vintage vibe and a lot of the bags that we're seeing on the runway are in very classic vintage colors like browns black like brick red cherry red even like mustard colors as opposed to like you know bright blue and this kind of thing they're very like classic shades that we're seeing come in fashion and it seems to be more about the look of the leather and uh the design of the bag as uh, and just like it's kind of stripped back bags they're very minimal uh but kind of styled in a bit of a twist they almost look like they could come from any era like this could be like a really old bag or it could they, like a lot of these bags that we're seeing on the runway don't even look like they're from this time it's like you've kind of dived into your mum's wardrobe or your grandma's wardrobe and you've borrowed one of her bags and i think that's the look it's like revisiting older styles and get, bringing them back to life is I feel like the current trend even on the Mew Mew runway you've got these like very 
uh, minimal looking cube bags. It almost reminds me of like my omnibus bag. So like something like this shape, which is a pretty classic shape. This style is actually originally from the 70s. Um, so it's just like a very smooth bag. Obviously the Moo Moo, Moo one ha does have some subtle branding on it. Moo Moo is actually quite expensive now. Um, compared to what it used to be uh, but I thought that yeah this kind of like grandma vintage vibe but even if you look at the way um, her outfit is here with like the, the stockings coming out like it's it's vintage but then it's done in a bit of a playful way uh, similar to like you know when we saw that McQueen bag it was like upside down so it's like wearing a vintage bag but then in a bit of a strange way so I thought that bag was kind of interesting. It also kind of reminds me of the Victorine, Victory bag from Hermes, uh, particularly this crossbody one with the strap in the brown color. So noticed on the Hermes runway, they were they tended they tend to only stick to uh, very neutral colors, monochromatic looks. So we saw uh, some stunning red um, outfits, uh, some brown outfits. It was really interesting that they had this massive bolide. Uh, walk down the runway and even a Belize 25 in this beautiful brown leather. Um, I'm not sure if this is, this looks like a very special leather. I think it's like the leather that smells like sausage or something. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's some like heritage leather. Um, and yes, I've noticed a lot of cherry red as well on the runway, like box calf cherry red, like really shiny. And you can see that in this kind of bag here. And same with the McQueen runway, we had the shiny red. I've also noticed um, a few really interesting, like, slouchy, deconstructed tote bags. So, for example, on the Ferragamo runway, you've got this, like, scoopy bag. Again, they're holding it like this. Kind of looks like a slouchy Birkin, but it's intentionally deconstructed and organic the way it flows. And it's a very oversized bag that, I don't know, it has its own personality and form to it. Uh, similarly, you saw on the Loewe uh, fashion show, they have these really big oversized tote bags that fall in this like unexpected way. It's intentional, like it looks intentional the way it's being draping, but at the same time, you can't predict the shape that it is. And it's really oversized, again, minimal branding. It's just very like a big piece of leather, um, this slouchy style. Um, and I thought it was also interesting on the Ferragamo runway, how they were clutching this big lizard um, like top handle bag kind of looks like a Birkin but I also noticed that uh, a lot of brands are using these very classic uh, kind of exotic colors like lizard um, even on the Dior runway I noticed a little lizard um, Lady Dior bag and you know Dior also had these like big tote bags which I feel like these big practical tote bags are definitely coming back in fashion. Another trend I noticed were these very cute little like kiss lock grandma purse bags with like very minimal branding. I noticed on the Dior runway they had these like little bags uh, that look like they could be from a different time. So there's a crocodile one, a box calf one, even like this lizard one. Again it looks like they could be vintage. This very classic satin uh, beaded bag like this looks like it could have come from I don't know like the 1920s or something. Even on the Prada runway, we have these, like, again, like, grandma-esque bags uh, with, like, more of a kiss lock at the top. Again, it's, like, that traditional, like, little purse shape. And I really like this one because it has these kind of embossed flowers on it. And, again, it's very minimal branding. Like, you can't really tell what brand it is. It's, like, if you know, you know kind of thing. But it looks very luxurious and um, eye-catching. You can even get that bag in more of a smooth uh, leather. Um, and I also noticed on uh, the Gucci runway, there is a bit of a vintage vibe as well. They're referencing their uh, like horse bit clutch bag, but uh, I don't know, this doesn't look as classic. It looks a little bit um, more out there, a little bit in your face, uh, but there is a less like GG monogram, like less obvious branding for Gucci. This is actually quite toned down in a way even if you look at their oversized Jackie bags again they have their own kind of slouch to them it still has branding but it's very subtle um and it, this like black leather tote bag honestly could look like it, it's from a different era like you wouldn't guess this is even like a new Gucci bag um even this bag it's like the way she's carrying it on her shoulder like this I feel like that's very much the attitude like getting an old bag and like wearing it in like a cool way 
Um, and again, it's not that obvious that it's Gucci. It's more if you understand the silhouette of Gucci and you know how iconic the Jackie bag is, then you'll definitely recognize this bag and you might appreciate the gorgeous, you know, luster of the leather more than, you know, maybe a big GG logo. Um, so I noticed, yeah, a lot of these brands are, are doing these more minimalistic styles. There's a bit of a trend um, towards like less obvious branding and more like an organic flowy bag or just the way you carry the bag can bring it new life. So I think for vintage lovers, honestly, um, this is your time to bring out your collection because I have, I feel like I actually have a lot of like very minimalistic bags, like as I said, my Omnibus, which I feel like is very on trend at the moment. I have a lot of like very extra bags as well, to be honest, like all these are very extra, but it's all about like, you know, showcasing the, the beautiful uh, craftsmanship of the leather, I feel, and just these like box calf, these really classic colors are uh, coming back in vogue. Um, yeah guys, so thanks for listening to me blab on today. I hope my video made sense. I was trying to like put things into categories to explain what I was seeing. So thanks for watching and I guess I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye.